In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to implement plain Fong Lighting into your OpenGL project and show you why it's better than just Fong Lighting. If you don't know what Fong Lighting is and don't already have it in your project, then watch my previous lighting tutorial before watching this. Now for the problem with Fong Lighting. As you may know, when calculating specular lighting, a dot product is taken between the vector of the reflection and the vector of the view direction. And since the dot product contains a cosine, which is dependent on the angle between these two vectors, that means that if the angle is over 90 degrees, it will result in no specular lighting. Even though this scenario is a bit more rare and harder to see clearly, under the right conditions, it can be noticed like in this picture. As you can see, the specular light just gets cut off, which is not very realistic. In order to fix this, the Blinfong lighting model takes the dot product between the normal of the surface and the halfway vector of the view and light direction vectors. Because of this, the angle will always be under 90 degrees, unless of course you are beneath the surface, but then I'd be more worried about your collision detection rather than your lighting algorithm. Now to implement this in code, we simply have to add the light direction vector to the view direction vector and normalize the resulting vector. This will give us the halfway vector, which we then plug into the dot product alongside the normal vector. And that was basically it. The only problem is that this specular lighting will also affect surfaces above the light source. To fix that, we put an if statement checking to see if there is any diffuse lighting before adding the specular lighting. A pretty short tutorial, but the results are better looking and more realistic. As always, the source code and all sources and resources used are in the description. Bye!